Hey everybody, how's it going today? I'm Clint with Valhalla's Custom Designs and today we're going to be making a pair of catch-all trays or dump trays out of some cutoffs of Purple Heart and Black Walnut. Uh, the wood's mostly milled so we're just going to glue it up and then possibly plane it down a little bit and then throw it up on the machine and carve them out. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, well here's the specimens in question. We have some Purple Heart wood. Look how cool that is, wood that's purple. Who would have thought? And I think we're gonna put some black walnut spacers in here. And glue them up, let them dry, and then probably plane them down because this black walnut's a little thicker. And then we'll cut them up to length and throw them on the machine. Time for the glue up. Board's dried. I'm gonna throw them through the plane a few times just to flatten them out a little bit and make them even. Try not to get too much snipe. See how that goes. So I changed my mind with one of these. It's going to become a rolling tray. Here we are in Fusion looking at a model I have drawn up. This is gonna have provisions for a rolled bit of paraphernalia, grinder, a lighter, and whatever else. And it's clear the cam side of things. Alright, the first things first, we need to set up our stock. We're gonna have our zero point in the center. We're fixed sized. Make sure that models are dimensions. The first process is going to be the bowl and tray cutter. Get those nice radius corners. Next operation is to drill the holes. And then the third will be to bore mill. These ones a little larger. Then we're going on to a chamfer around all the edges. And then finally the holes. Okay, so we have this our zero set, X and Y. That shows the growth from the center on this one. I'm going to use this radius cutter to find center. Next we're going to check out this bull and tray cutter, center Z. Okay, so we're going to use our probe block. This can be used as a corner probe, or you can also use it as a Z probe. That's what we're going to do here. This measures roughly 12 millimeters. I don't normally do metric, but open builds control is in metric. Every 12. So we come up here in a probe function. Z probe, plate thickness, 12 millimeters. And this one's our alligator clip is connected to the bit or on the router somewhere it's grounded. We don't want it to touch down on this plate. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's within this cut. So we'll come over here to probe. Make sure it says 12. Z plate. Confirm probe. Probe. Here we go, our Z zero set. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my dust collector bristle thing on here. I know all those action shots on YouTube are really cool to watch, but this is gonna make a mess. And it'll gunk up your V wheel tracks, and then you lose steps. And I'm not all about that, so sorry. Here we go with our bowl and tray cutter. It's first going to helix down into the workpiece before it starts to spiral machine in the pocket. It's starting on the large tray first. I have it set to step down at a hundred thousandths of an inch, so it'll take multiple passes. Now 
Now it's almost a larger pocket. Now I'm on to the rest. for the circular pocket. Basic roughed out shape. And there we go. I'm going to drill some holes with this three flute spiral upcut end mill. Notice how it is going down a bit and coming back up. This is called peck drilling and it helps break the chips and pull them up out of the hole. Now that the pilot hole is drilled for the two larger ones, it's helix ramping down to bore mill them larger. There's our holes. Left a little burr on the ones that the bore milled. Let me sand those off before we chamfer. And now on to our 45 degrees E bit for chamfering. Okay, this is the last operation, so I'll leave the dust boot off. This is an 80,000th wide, 45 degree chamfer. I have it set for a 50,000th finished overlap, so it's going back over what it already cut a little bit to help smooth that out a bit. Got all hand sanded up and get some lacquer on it. Alright, so before we finish the end to the other side and uh, put lacquer on it, I've came to the conclusion we're gonna bring in this side. Put my logo and something else special on here for you. We're going to use a 60 degree V bit to do some engraving. Alright, this is the 60 degree V bit. This thing is stupid sharp. A lot of my tools are from Kodiak cutting tools, and this thing is awesome. It'll leave a nice crisp, clean line. Alright, tools in, C level set, files loaded. Let's do it.
with that. Cut nice and crisp those lines there. No burrs. And that's the much hand sanding and lacquering. Here we are. Turned out pretty neat. I like how that purple art looks. will be for sale on Etsy if you're interested. Here are some close-up stills of how it turned out. If you're interested on in how I modeled this infusion or how I set up the cam side of it, please feel free to reach out in the comments and I'll make a video on that as well. Well everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe.